Hey guys, it's Mark Venturi here, hope you're well. Today I want to run you through a video uh, touching on uh, your credit history or how to create a credit history uh, and credit scoring. And it's been in the media a lot lately um, around you know, what do these mean? But it also, it's a question that I get asked a lot by, by clients. You know, they've been told that they have to go out and get a credit card or a car loan or a personal loan to establish credit history. Now, I wanted to provide some clarity around all those sort of things because creating a credit history, you do not need to go and get a car loan, credit card, personal loan to establish a credit history. It's actually a myth out there. The best way to create a credit history is actually to have your banking with one bank, have your income going into your bank account on a regular basis, and regularly putting some savings aside. That is the fastest, easiest, and best way of building your credit history. You don't actually have to go and get yourself in debt to do that. I've helped hundreds of clients around improving their credit history, and it's all focused on making sure that you choose one bank, you have your income going there regularly, and you build up some regular savings. That is the most important thing that a bank looks at in terms of establishing credit history. Now, there's one other thing around, though, how do you improve your credit history? Now, the best way to improve your credit history is the first thing is, is stop making uh, inquiries on your credit on your credit reports. So stop applying for loans, stop applying for utilities, make sure that you limit your footprint. You want to make sure that you restrict that, and then again you go back to focusing on those other two things that I mentioned. Focusing on making sure your income goes into your account regularly, um, you're saving regularly, you're reducing your spending. That's the next way of how you can improve your credit score and maybe pay off some of those loans faster. But the most important is reduce the number of inquiries. Now I get asked this question often, you know, please don't put an application in or I don't want to put too many applications in. And that's right, you want to keep your, in any one year, you want to keep your application history to at least at five at a maximum. So that includes personal loans, credit cards, car loans, home loans, um, utility inquiries, don't let them exceed five in a year. Because if you do, that can start to impact your credit score. But again, the best way to overcome that is with your own bank, you just make sure that you've got your regular income and savings building up. Now, when it comes to your actual home loan, there's something called credit scoring will determine if your application is successful in the early stages. Now, credit scoring is a new sort of technique in assessing applications, probably been around for a couple of years. But what it means is that everyone gets scored, all of us, when we make some sort of application. And the, it's very difficult, the banks really don't let on how they do it, but what the information we do understand is credit scoring is based on your uh, actual credit report and your credit history. It's, re, it's based on your income and employment history. It's based on your savings, the size of your deposit. It's based on how long you've been in your job for. It's based on how long you've lived at your current home for. Um, it's based on how many credit inquiries you have, um, it's also based on things like, are your bank accounts in good order? What I mean from that is um, that you don't have uh, regular overdrawings and stuff like that. You don't have missed repayments. Um, if you've got regular missed repayments or overdrawing on your account, then the bank will actually downgrade your credit score, which can impact or certainly impact your application. So I hope that's given you a much better understanding of what, uh, how you create a credit history, what credit history is all about, and how do the banks credit score you? All those things are really important in understanding because they can determine the outcome of whether you get an approval or you don't get an approval. If you've ever got any questions, please let us know. We're always here to help you and give as much value as you can.